Hey, I don't know if this is a recording or not, but I got my Try Treats box. Actually, I got another one last week, but I I recorded it and I don't know what I did with the video. So, I don't know. That box was from Italy and it was good. It was a lot of good. It had a lot of chocolate. Great. But I don't remember anything else from it. Um. Oh, look at this. This month's Try Treats box is from South Korea. Isn't that beautiful? And it's so funny because I'm actually looking for an Asian country to visit. I liked, I was thinking about 10 days or so in Thailand, but maybe this is a sign I should check out South Korea. Let's see. But either way, this month's treats come, from you, come to you from South Korea. South Korea is a fascinating country known for its beautiful hilly countryside as well as the, the development of technology in cities such as Seoul. That's awesome. What I heard about um, Korea is that they have like super mega fast internet. That, that I like that. So let's see what's inside this box. Oh, oh. all right. Let's see. This is a much smaller box, which I don't understand how or why, but it doesn't matter. Um, smaller things to sample, but what is that? Okay, so let's just go with this. Okay, so this is a, what are you? Okay, you are a choco pie, a marshmallow filling. That's pretty American-ish. Well, it's like a moon pie, you know? It is a it's biscuits layered with chocolate and marshmallow. I don't like marshmallow, but I do like chocolate. And I'm gonna give it a try. And he gave me like a whole bunch of these. That's not good. That's not good to have a whole bunch of these. It's not, because even though I don't like um, marshmallow, in the middle of the night when I'm hungry, if I haven't, you know, did all my protein and stuff, I'll eat anything, to be quite honest. To stop my back from, you know, stop my stomach from licking my back. Smell like marshmallows. Exactly what I thought it would taste like. Marshmallow. But it's okay. All right. And moving on. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't know. This packaging just caught my eye. Look at that. It's toasted seaweed. Are, for real. Toasted seaweed. By Samjuga. Samjuga Jin. Roasted seaweed. Otherwise known as laver is a traditional Korean snack made from seaweed, which is seasoned and toasted per to perfection. Okay, now I've heard of a lot of health benefits for seaweed. Um, I, when I was juicing and things, I was, you know, considering, I don't know if I'm mature enough to handle this. It is like, it is like a little basket of dirt. No not dirt but what in the whole hell is that what is that look seaweed wrap see this is exactly I oh and it smells like grass for real um Did I eat it right? What just happened? It's a favorite in Asia. That would be a no. That would be all kind of no. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, sir. No, sir. No, we're not going to do that again. No. Mm -mm. Take that back. If there was a way to untaste something, that would be the one thing I would want to untaste. It, um, uh, let me see here. Tastes like raw collard greens. And I like collard greens, but I just like them cooked, but I'm just saying. 
Okay, we gotta move on. We gotta do something else. Cause that was, that was just wrong. That was a lot of wrong. Ooh, why do you like that? Maybe it's good for you, but just give me a pill. Okay, so we are going to try a waffle. No, let's see what you are. You are, oh, you are adorable. What? Be my soul mate. Be my waffle mate. Okay. This is waffle made by Lot or Lati. Its name suggests it's a snack in the form of a honey flavored waffle biscuit. There are waffles that are ready to eat out of the bag. They go great with a cup of coffee or milk. And coffee is my bloodline, literally. If I fall right now, coffee and cream is gonna come out of my veins. So I would like to taste these with that. And I'm most excited to get this seaweed taste out of Chanel. This is not good. I would do that on purpose. Why? Mm -mm. That's not right. Okay, so waffle. All you gotta do is top this, that's all. Get this out my tooth. Oh, that's different. Uh, mm -mm, hold on, like, hold on, let me see. I like that. That is, well, first of all, it's after the seaweed, so I really like it because it took the seaweed taste out of my mouth. But it actually tastes like a, um, that is really good. Oh, yeah, boy, I like you. This is like a, the only thing I can even think to compare it to would be like a really thin, buttery, Florida Dunes, I guess. And I like shortbread everything, so. Mm-hmm. Winning. Still gonna throw that seaweed away. We ain't even gonna try that again. That was just horrible. Nope. I'm just gonna put you back in the box. You don't make it to the refrigerator. You have been folded off the island. You are the weakest link. I'm actually a little bit angry. You oh, wasn't right. It was just uncalled for. Okay, so I have a little bit of emotional trauma, but other than that, okay, so mm, that is really good. I like that. All right, so actually, I think I've had these before. These are also by La or Lati. I'm not really sure. Um, it's can can Cancho Choco Biscuits. They are adorable. Let's see. Yes, you are bite-sized biscuits, crunchy biscuits filled with chocolate filling. And they come in cute packaging with adorable looking love struck mascots. Why the candy love struck? Why the biscuit love struck? That's okay, I appreciate cute stuff. Look at that, they're right. The little packaging is adorable. Now I could already tell you those biscuits. We got a date later on tonight, for real. For real. That's what these look like. You want to see a love... I can't see the love struck person on this, but... It's just a little biscuit. A little round biscuit. And I don't really think you can go wrong with the chocolate filled biscuit. I mean, how? As long as you fill the biscuit with chocolate, you're great. And they did just that. Thank you. You're good. The waffles still got you on hold, boo. They really do. Because the waffle is everything. All right, so more choco. I'm kind of glad. They're trying to make up with me because of that seaweed, so they sent on a lot of chocolate. That's good. But that seaweed was unforgivable. Choco Boy. Have fun with your friend Choco Boy. Look at him. We're going to have fun with him. He's another one by Orion. Crunchy chocolate tip biscuits in the form of a mushroom. Choco Boy biscuits also contain DHA, omega-3 fatty acids, so a critical component of brain and nerve cell membranes. So what I just heard was that I'm going to be smarter after I eat these. So of course I'm going to eat it. Mm -hmm. Cute packaging. 
adorable. I got it. Well, damn. I keep saying I'm going to cancel um, my subscription. And then I forget to cancel my subscription. So. Not because of anything more than it takes me a while to eat these. Now, what's that look like to you? I'm just saying. I didn't make it look like this. That's what it looks like. But we're going to say that it's a chocolate tipped mushroom. Yeah, that's what we're going to say. Let's give it a whirl. It's really good. Because <laughs> I'm a little bit perverted a little bit. I don't know why. Maybe I'm just sleepy. I need to go to bed. But for some reason, it just looked like a circumcised penis. That's not... I didn't make it look like that. That's just what it looked like to me. Don't judge me. That's just what it looked like. I wasn't being sexual. I was being factual. I'm just saying. So, let's see. What else have we tasted? All right. Let's try this. This is a white cookie. Harmony of crunchy cookies with white chocolate. I don't like white chocolate, but that doesn't mean that I won't give it a try because it says chocolate. Papiro, papiro white chocolate sticks. And these things are really good with coffee. I've had the strawberry version and the plain version of these before. Um... I'm still mad at that seaweed, though. Why they put this in the box? Why did they do that? Oh, it's okay. It's a, a white cookie. Paperos are biscuits, biscuit sticks dipped in a thick layer of cookies and cream coating. Okay. Y'all better stop acting up. It's so popular in Korea. has a national holiday in Korea called the Papero Day. You got a day for cookies. I definitely need to come visit y'all. Let me see. What y'all eating? I don't have a holiday for cookies. I ain't mad though. I just need to know how y'all got there. Who told y'all y'all to do that? This is what the packaging looks like. Mental. Seriously. I'm such a visual person. I don't know. That looks interesting. I don't like white chocolate, but... I guess. I can't say it's bad. It's just not my preference. But I do appreciate them sending to me to let me try things, especially when I was seriously looking at the um, Mandarin Hotel in Bangkok last night. I was seriously pricing that just a little while ago, and then I got my box from Korea, and maybe that's some kind of synchronicity. Synchronicity. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. When stuff happens and it don't make sense, but it makes sense. Yeah, that. Maybe that's telling me to go there instead. Who knows? I don't know. I'll go anywhere, though, clearly. I just want to see what y'all eating. I want to know what your grandma cooked. If she cooked that seaweed, mm -mm. now she cooked it like collard greens, I'll give it a whirl. But if she did it like this packaging right here, I'm going to forgive her. But don't do that no more, grandma. Abuela. What, what do you call grandma in Korea? I don't know, but don't do this. This is not for people. <laughs> is that what I'm saying? <sighs> yeah, I'm sleepy. Now, here's some savory things, and that is what I like. I like chips and buttery things. This is called a, um, I'm, mm -hmm, what is it called? It is called Ocarto. It's a potato chip in the form of a square tube, similar to french fries. They're crunchy in texture and filled with flavor. Orion recommends eating them with ranch, peanut butter, cheese sauce, <laughs> salsa, or honey. 
Yes. And these are cream cheese flavored. Now, if you're cream cheese flavored, what is what is going on here? I feel like ickies are on me. I need to sleep. Um, if these are cream cheese flavored, I don't know why I would dip them in honey. I dip them in anything, actually, for that matter. But I don't know. I feel like it would have on me. I'm going to keep looking for it. Oh, wow. I did not see that. Whoa, it looks like a big steak fry. Oh, I like you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I could date you. Mm-hmm. Nope. I'm full. Sleeve. Reaching my limit. And the last thing is plum. What is happening here? This is sweet plum candy by Hatai. It's hard round candy, famed Korean confectionery group. Hatai, I think is how it's pronounced. This treat has one of the most unique flavors of any candies we've encountered. It just tastes like plum. And I like plums. I got a bag in the refrigerator. I like plum wine. I like plum everything. So what are you about? Let's check you out, bro. Let's check you out. Little individual packaging. I don't know if that's upside down, right side up. I don't know because I don't know what those letters are. Are all those letters symbols? How pretty are you? Look at that. It look a marble. It's oh that's really pretty. Shut your face. It tastes like a plum. Mm-hmm. And plums taste great. This tastes just like a plum. Oh yeah, see, I would order these by themselves. That was good. So that was the box from, from um, South Korea. That was pretty interesting. It's um, some things are just unforgivable. And I would say that that seaweed is unforgivable. Maybe I can wet it and use it as a face peel. I don't know. On my sleeve journey, I am still holding steady between 185 and 190. I don't know. I, I don't know. Um, good thing I don't get stuck on numbers because I would probably really be frustrated. But um, losing inches, I um, no longer wear plus sizes in most things. I um, went to go try on some clothes and I am wearing a women's extra large in most things. Some things is like a medium. Um, so I'm going to say, oh, and I'm 5'4", so... I'm not that tall, I'm not that long of a person. Um, so I say that I wear a, a women's petite ex large medium. I don't know what that is, but it just basically boils down to me needing to try on everything. So some stuff I wear at 12, which is tripping me out. Size six panty, who does that? And um not that I'm telling y'all about my, I'm just talking about sleeve stuff, sleeve stuff, bring it back. Um, again, most of my weight is in my stomach. And as I am losing this weight slowly, I am realizing that if it continues like that, I'm probably going to have to have um, skin removed on my stomach because it's going to cause rashes and things. And that's just gross. And, um, Probably really uncomfortable, I would imagine. But that's another year or so away if I continue to lose. And I, I'm very happy losing weight slowly. There's been so many things happening, um, good and bad in my life. Um, just kind of par for the course, I guess. So some days you just want to have a mulligan, just do over. And other days you're feeling awesome. So I had my first holiday alone. 
Um, it really wasn't that bad. It really wasn't that bad because I just went to go see my family a week before. So basically, I just missed out on doing um, the dishes and cooking for 25 people. And I can't say I missed that. I miss them, but not that. Um, let's see. I have to travel again. I'll be in Narnia. That's Indianapolis for me. I'll be in Narnia um, next week. Yeah, we just gonna throw this away. We're not even gonna put this in the refrigerator. We're not even gonna play like that. We're gonna throw it away. You know, since I'm even, because I'm not going to revisit that. That's just horrible. I really want somebody to apologize to me for that experience, but um, I don't know what I was talking about. There's a lot going on. Just a lot, you know, a lot of changes, you know. You know, when you have your sleeve, there's things that um, change. Your taste change, your um, your tolerances change. Um, sweet and um, salty, some things are super, super sweet, some things are super salty, you know, that you didn't really have that um, problem with before. Um... Really, that's about, you know, as far as, um, I will talk about something then. It's not like I'm trying to give people a, a bad um, experience or, or I'm just being honest. Um, you know, you, you have to um, recognize that when you're in a long-term relationship, me and my babe been together for 15 years. And that's a lot of years. That's a lot of years. I don't, I don't even know how that happened. Because I only like him on Tuesdays and Thursdays. But anyways, when you are with someone and you've been with someone for a long time, when you start making physical changes, it can make changes. It can cause changes in your relationship. Um, he's always been really supportive. He's always been supportive. I think because he knew I wasn't trying to do something cosmetic, that I wasn't trying to be um, one of them loop girls or, you know, try, I wasn't trying to do anything. Just I just wanted to kind of live without high blood sugar. That's basically it. And he was really supportive of that. But I think all the changes in me created changes in him. And I have to say, it's been it's been kind of rough, you know. It's been kind of rough. Um, and I think that's kind of normal, I guess. I don't even know. I blame the sleeve for everything. If my shampoo don't lather up, the sleeve did. If my tooth hurt, it's because of the sleeve. I mean, I'm just saying, no, seriously, the sleeve does impact so many aspects of your life it is not um cosmetic as i've said forever it is very mental because we so identify with our bodies um our physical appearances and hmm, just feel real good but um i did see a try I, I keep calling everything try treats, but this the box that I think I'm gonna try instead of food um, is a, a, a wine box, and I have never been real fond of farm animals. I like dogs, I love dogs, but never real fond of farm animals. But gray goose, mm, that's my new farm animal, and I like her. Every now and then, I get a little bit frustrated, so I just go to the farm and. Yeah, goosey, goosey, goosey. And um, there was another drink that I've been sipping on a lot. It's called Pasal. I think it's a, I think I'm pronouncing that right. It's Pasal, and it's a Brazilian passion fruit liquor. Um, and I talk about that because I, I was never a drinker before. But when you just kind of want to take the edge off, I think, you know, having a glass in moderation. I didn't say a bottle, I said a glass. Um, it's not so bad, but you have to be careful because your tolerance has changed so much because of your sleep. So it's all sorts of things that your taste, your hair, your skin, your everything, everything. And you know what else too is something strange. I don't know if, I don't think I smell the same. <laughs> Like, I'm not talking about, like, when you smell like soap. I'm just talking about your normal body. Like, your normal body. I feel like, um, I don't know. I just, I smell different. I don't know how to describe that. I don't know if it's a pheromones thing or what, but I do. I, do. I smell different than I did. 
I don't know it's because I have crepey skin I don't know I'm being way too honest here but um this started out with a, a Korean tri trace box but it always relates back to the surgery I would always encourage someone to do it I don't encourage anyone becoming gung-ho unless you can maintain that um, do things slow you know it took me 20 some odd years to gain to get up to 240 some odd pounds so I don't expect to be down to a normal weight within the first year but I have lost close to 60 I think somewhere around there I don't even allow myself to get fixated on it because I become obsessed um, so next year for 2017 I'd like to get down to my goal weight which mine was between 165 and 150 is the smallest that I want to be I do not want to be smaller than 150 um, I'm thinking about having LASIK surgery because I don't know if it's just age or if that's sleeve related too but I can't see <laughs> I can't see I can't see at all um, especially at night I really can't see driving um, and then at the end of 2017, I hope to, um, level out and maybe, maybe I'll, you know, consider having the, the skin on my stomach, which is becoming crepey as you lose it. It becomes really crepey. Um, and if it hangs over your pubic area, that's when you can develop rashes and things like that. I don't want to experience that. So I would definitely consider um, having that surgery now I have heard that that particular surgery is more painful than the actual weight loss surgery so I don't know but I think um, I think I would probably do it because like I was talking about the sizes and things that I wear a lot of them I don't have a butt or thighs so the bottom of the pants leg may be really really wide but I still need something to accommodate my um, stomach area. So um, just to have a more uniform body, I think I would probably get something, uh, have the surgery once my body kind of levels out. And um, that's about it. So I'm always just talking about random stuff. I don't write anything down. Go on this journey with me. Tell me how you're feeling. I hope that everyone is well. I'm hoping everyone is feeling encouraged to do things for themselves. Um, taking everything into consideration and taking things slowly. You know, I don't think it's good to approach things really going home. I don't. I think you should. People might accuse you of being really boring or whatever. I get that accusation a lot. Because I don't try to get hyped about anything, including this. I just think it's better. Slow and steady wins the race. So... That's my perspective on most things. So, into you, your girl is going to sleep. I've got major meetings tomorrow and um, things to do to get ready for this trip. And I'm already dreading living out of a hotel and having to eat hotel food and things like that. So, I don't know if I want to take my little ninja thing and make my own shakes or whatever. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. But I'm already already thinking about how to eat <clears throat> I'm not even there yet so normally I would get you know drive through or sit down restaurant PF Chang's or you know and it's just not real feasible right now I just really hope <laughs> that I don't have to go to Mimi Blue I might have to though because I'm always down for a meatball just one alright ain't talking about nothing run out of my mouth talk to y'all later have a good evening